folks, Barry here. Today we're doing Memoir 44. Okay, now Memoir 44 is a a great gateway game into wargaming. Alright, now this one's been out for 10 years. And normally when I do a, a game like this, which has missions, in it, you know, or different scenarios in it, I'll start off with the entry level uh, scenario, you know. But it, I don't like to, you know, show off too many things, you know, I don't want to spoil too many things. But this one's been out for 10 years, so I don't think that I would be spoiling this to anybody who's played the game before. And and if you're somebody who hasn't played the game and you're watching this, this will be a way to introduce some of the more um, complicated techniques in the game, you know, the, the uh, terrain effects and, and objects effects and stuff like that. Okay, now... There's a bit of a surprise towards the end of this one. I'll just leave it at that. So, without further ado, here we go with Memoir 44. What are we playing, Jennifer? Memoir 44, Barry. Okay, which uh, scenario, Jennifer? 16. What is the name of 16? <laughs> it is, <clears throat> and I apologize if I said it wrong. It's the Savern Gap with Vosages. Vosages? I'm not, I'm not good at that. Okay, and what's the historical background on this one? Uh, the Savern Gap, cutting through the Vosges Mountain, was the key to Strasbourg, capital city of Alsace. So, okay, the uh, U.S. 7th Army 15 Corps, under the command of General Wade Hampton Halslip, arrived to the front lines at Fallsburg. Why did you have to pick the one with all the bad words? <laughs> with the infantry progressing forward into the Sovereign Gap, General Leclerc divided his second French armor division into two task force. The first would be, move well north of the gap by La Petite Pierre, the other on secondary roads in the south through heavily forested mountains by Dabo. If the plan worked, they would take Sovereign simultaneously from both the north and the south, avoiding the strong defenses expected in the gap itself. <clears throat> the plan worked to perfection. One of the South French armor groups was even able to rush through Sovereign's west, western end and climb to the gap, taking the German defenses from behind. German forces, few in number, fought valiantly but without support or reserves, they were unable to stop the three-pronged Allied attack. They crumbled, leaving the door to Strasbourg wide open. The stage is set, the battle lines are drawn, and you are in command. The rest is history. Okay, so now uh, I am the Germans, the, the gray guy here. Jen is the U.S., they are the green guys. Or, yeah, I, or French, I don't know. I'm the Allies. I thought you said the U.S. Armored Division. Yeah, uh, I'm It's the Allies, yeah, it's a combination. Very um, good. I start off with four cards. Jen starts off with six command cards. Who goes first, me? I do. Jen goes first. You get nothing. Now, the object of this scenario is to get how many victory medals? Five. Five victory medals. Either If either one of us gets five victory medals, we will uh, win this scenario. Okay, and then Jen has a second way of winning is if she occupies two town hexes in this group of three here. What is the name of this town? I forget. Severn. Severn. She will win immediately. Jen's going to start. What we'll do first is play a card, one of these command cards. There's two different types. There are sectional cards, which if you look at the board, you can see here there are dotted red lines. Okay, and that'll give you a left, center, and right section of the board to command, okay? Um, these cards will correspond with those sections, and it'll be either one, two, three, or all of the units in that section. If a unit is in a section that occupies one of the, in a hex that occupies one of these red lines, then that unit can be commanded from either section that it is in, okay? Like here, it's in the middle, and my right flank, so it could be controlled in either one of those two sections. And then, of course, being that Jen's sitting opposite from me, her left will be my right, my right will be her left. Amazing. 
Um, that does apply, though, in certain cards. Yes, it does. But it does tell you that when countering. The other ones are tactical cards. They'll give you special abilities. It could be control four infantry units, no matter what section they're in. Just four units in general. Or airdrop or, or stuff like that. And we'll get into that when we get along. So Jen's going to play a card. Then she's going to give orders. She's going to say which units she's going to control with that card. And then she's going to move all her units. And then if there is a battle, she will battle. Battle. Okay, so what are you going to do, Jen? Win. Yes. You will try. Yes, I will try valiantly. My Nazis will stop you. Uh, there is a special rule with the hills in this scenario. They are impassable, and my artillery cannot shoot across them. Normally, artillery um, doesn't care about line of sight, but in this scenario, the hills will uh, prevent them from gaining line of sight across them. They're really big hills. Yes, mountains. And I can't cross the river. Except for where this bridge is. Okay, I'm going to... Play assault, and I'm going to order all my units in, in the, the center. center. Okay. Okay. So then again, now Jen can control all four of these, and then this guy here, this unit here, because it is in between her left and center flanks. So I move one, and I can battle, or two, and not battle. Right. Infantry units can move zero or one spaces and battle, or they can move two spaces and not be able to battle. Right. So now Jen will issue orders. Well, since we know they're all in the center, she will now move the uh, units. Right. See, that might not have been the best card to play. Well, your She's bottleneck. Got your stupid Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Now what Jen is referring to is Tootsie Rolls are wire. Okay, and... One... So wire will prevent her from attacking. She she or uh, once you get into a hex with a wire, you have to stop immediately. So okay, and you cannot battle unless you remove that wire. One, right. So no battle. Uh, one out. Uh, one last. Oh, I'm sorry. You can. Uh, you can. Oh no! I'm sorry. Infantry can battle. I mean, can remove instead... Of battling. Oh, yeah. Infantry does battle out at one, minus one. Okay. Sorry, I <laughs> forgot that rule. All right, so infantry, once you're in a, a hex with a, a wire, you have to stop, and then you can either battle with one uh, battle die less, or you can choose to remove it and not battle. And then on another turn, if a, if a unit was in a hex, they could battle without any combat dice penalties. Okay, so now... Well, I moved two for all those, so I can't battle. Okay, so... Um, I take a card. Dal Jen will draw another card. Okay, as she said, she moved all the units twice, so she could not battle anyway. So it would be my turn. I could, but he's blocked. Uh, you only move this unit once? Yes. Yeah, so she could attack with this, but this shoot my unit dudes. is blocking her line of sight. Okay, if we draw an imaginary line from the center of that hex that is hex, these units are in the way. Okay, however, if these were not here, and only one unit was blocking her line of sight, then she could fire on it. But since her line of sight is totally blocked, she can't. Um, okay, so it's my turn. I can see what Jen's doing. It doesn't look good. What? <laughs> Alright, so I am going to use this pro border. Okay, which will allow me to do two units in the center. So first, I'm going to come in the artillery, and then these guys here. I am not going to move them. All right, so we'll start off with the artillery attacking. So You're going to shoot guys in the back of the head. The range with artillery works. Uh, the first two hexes away from them, you roll three battle dice. The next two, you roll two battle dice, and then the final two, you would roll one battle die. Anything six hexes out, you will not be able to fire at. Okay, now normally, this town would block line of sight. Um, if an infantry or armor unit was behind it. 
Okay, line of sight does not matter with artillery, except again in this case with the hills because it has special roll. Okay, so I'm gonna attack with this unit and we will fire on, let's see, three, three, two, two. We'll fire on this unit here. Okay, so I'll roll two battle dice. Okay, and then we'll figure out the results. Okay, now a star is a miss, a grenade is a hit. So Jen will lose one unit in that group. Don't touch my American Nazi scum. Okay, and that is the battle dice, uh, the the battle phase. Sometimes there are restrictions with some obstacles. Doesn't it happen with this one? But um, you will take all that in effect before rolling your dice. You always resolve the hits before misses or retreats, which are. The flag symbol, and then if a retreat were to be rolled, the unit that you are attacking would have to move back towards their line, one space for every flag, and if they could not, due to being blocked in, like Jen is here, by either units or terrain, then they would remove one figure for each flag rolled. Okay, so now I'm going to attack this unit. There is no uh, blocking of line of sight. There is no terrain or object restrictions on this particular battle, so I would roll three dice to attack these three units here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now, if you are in the town with an armor division, you would have a negative two battle dice uh, penalty for attacking out of the town. But this is infantry, so there is none. We're going to roll three battle dice, and the result is three hits, so Jen loses all three units there. Okay, Jen will take the two, I'll take the remaining one, and that will count as my first medal. And then, that will be the end of my turn. I will draw back up to four cards, and it'll go back to Jen. You're ruining my plan. It happens. I don't think you care. Do not. I'm going to play the assault on the left flank. I get to move all units on that side. Okay. Okay. So. One, two, three. This is my tank. Yeah. Pyramid. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, one, two. I can cross over the line, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could move <clears throat> any way you want to. <clears throat> you just have to be so. in the this section. Yeah, the so when they start. To start off. Okay. Okay. So Jen. All right. Order to move them. <laughs> yes. So um, now I'm going to attack you. Okay, now she can only attack with this tent armor unit and this armor unit. Because yeah. this one's line of sight is blocked. Tanks or armor units can roll three battle dice. Yes. But being that my infantry unit is in a town, there is a terrain of, uh, reduction there, which is that they have to roll with two dice less. Yeah. A <laughs> one. Is this considered close assault? For this unit, it would be close assault, which means okay. they're adjacent to each other. Can we try and get it without getting it cocked? <laughs> no, <laughs> stop cheating. It's not cheating. It's cheating. How is that cheating? Because <laughs> the die was cocked. There, same exact thing. Okay, so... Die, you Nazis. I lose one unit. Die, you Nazis. Oh. And now I will attack with the other one. So she's going to attack with this unit now, so it will. I'll lose one more unit. Okay, is that the end of your phase? Yeah. Your turn, and she'll draw back up to another card. I'll draw back up to another card. Oh, okay. she'll draw up. You know what I was saying. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, my turn. <clears throat> okay, first I'm going to I'm going to play this probe card. Okay, which is two units in my right. Sounds like you're saying pro card. Probe card. Okay, so I'm going to order initiative to this unit and this unit here. Um, I'm not going to move either units. 
Okay, remember the tanks can shoot three hexes away with three battle dice. If I were to move, try and come around, I'd lose line of sight because of the forest and the hills. I didn't even think of that. So I want to stay there. Okay, so these guys will first attack these guys, and they'll roll three dice. And she got one hit, one miss, because I'm uh, fighting against armor. The infantry symbol does not count. And then one retreat. So Jen will lose one unit automatically, and then because she has to retreat, and she cannot... I can. No, you gotta go retreat back. Oh. She'll lose another unit. <clears throat> I thought it was just away from your. It's back thing. towards your line. Oh. So you lose one more. Really? I know. Okay, and now the infantry here is gonna go after the survivor. So he gets to roll three dice. Okay, and. He does have a hit, and you all, you resolve hits automatically. A grenade will destroy any unit. And then, if there were more than one unit left to be destroyed, you would resolve the retreat. So, I get my second victory point. Now, what I forgot to mention in the last battle is, when units destroy another unit, an enemy unit, they can take ground, meaning they can move into that space if they choose to. I'm not going to do that. And then, tanks have a... Uh, Another special ability where after they eliminate enemy units, they can move into a space and then attack again if they are in close combat. Okay, and then if they eliminate all those units again, they could take ground but not attack again. Okay, so that's going to be the end of my turn. I'm going to draw up to my four, hand of four. It goes back to Jen. It does. It really does. You got all them cards, you can't figure out something. That's right. Alright. I will issue an attack order to three center units. Okay. So uh, which units? Some. <laughs> which three? <laughs> some? <laughs> some of them. See the songs. <laughs> Okay, wait. I can just... Okay, I'll do that. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Alright. So now she's going to move them. Or not move them in some cases. Okay. I move them in. I'm not going to battle. Oh, sure, I have to wait for that. Well, yeah, now it would be your battle phase. So you're not going to battle? You're going to remove the touchy rolls? Well, i got to do what I'm going to do with the other ones. Right. So which one are you battling with first, or not? <laughs> um, I'm gonna move this one. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna remove the tootsie roll and remove the tootsie roll. Okay, so now Jen's gonna battle. We already removed the wire for these two, so these two units are eligible to battle. But this one can battle because they only moved one space. Right. Are you gonna battle? Yeah, I'm going to shoot you. Who are you going to shoot? This unit here or this unit here? That one. The one in the town. Okay. So she would be able to roll three dice. This is called close combat. But being that I'm in a town, she'd have to remove one die. And she missed. But I do have a retreat, so i got to retreat back one space towards my line. Okay. And, uh, okay. This way, and now Jen has the overrun option or take ground option, which means she can move into that town that she chose to. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I took your crown, right? No, uh, I'm gonna take a card. Okay, so now it's my turn. That kind of sucked. Oh, you really like that down a little bit. I'm going to play this recon card, which is one in the center. Okay, and I'm going to leave that out for towards the end. There's a special roll with that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the artillery here, and then I'm going to attack three, three, two, two. I'm going to attack this unit here. <clears throat> okay. I just don't, I mean, I know that you can, but I don't see how you can shoot through your own guys. But there's no line of sight with artillery. I know, but 
Yeah. All right, so I rolled a grenade and a uh, infantry. Jen loses two units, two figures. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do on that turn. But now, like I said, this recon card has a special rule that when you are drawing back up to your hand limit, instead of drawing one card, you would draw two, and then choose one and discard the other one. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one and discard the other one. Goes back to Jen. What you going to do? I'm going to play a card. Usually helps. Yeah, it does. I am going to play Infantry Assault. I get to issue an order to all infantry units in one section. <clears throat> I may move up to two hexes and still battle. Okay. Or three hexes and not battle. All right. Terrain movements and battle restrictions still apply. So, and if I didn't command any, I could issue an order to one unit of my choice. Okay, so which units are you going to issue that order to? These. Center ones? Yeah, I figured that. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, you know, they just, they're, they're liking, you know, hanging out here and the gap. So. So now instead of moving once in battle like normal, she can move twice in battle or up to three spaces and not battle. One, two. See, I don't know. I can move through the tree. That would be three, yes. Um, let's see. And then normally, Jen ran out of movement for that, but normally when you enter a space with a tree, you must automatically stop. Yeah. And you cannot battle that turn. One, two, three. One. Hmm. I don't think I planned that very well. One, two. Okay, so now are you going to battle? Yeah. You're eligible for two units to battle with? No, I can battle with all of them. Move them three. Except for this unit here and this unit here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you can only battle actually, with two. Okay, I didn't that unit too, but yeah. it's out of a black line of sight. I know. All right, so... Uh, I'm going to shoot these guys with these guys. Okay, so she has three battle dice. If I can find them. Okay, so that's three hits. I think she's going to get a victory point. <sighs> and then these guys are going to shoot that guy. So that's also three battle dice. And she oh, missed. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I really hate Okay, I'm going to play this assault on my right flank. Okay, and first I'm going to move this unit. One, two, three. Okay, so these guys are going to come right here. Okay, and then I'm done moving them. Nervous much? Yeah. Okay, so this unit here is going to attack this tank unit here. So it would be three, two dice. And we have one hit. This one? Yeah. Okay, now this unit here is going to attack. I can hit either these guys here or these guys here. Okay, so I'm going to attack with this armor unit and these guys in the tree. Or the forest, since they're in the forest, it's a negative two battle dice restriction. Okay, so I hit one unit. I was hoping for a retreat. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. I'm going to draw back up. Tough decisions, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to issue an attack to three units in my center section. That's a surprise. I know. Mm-hmm. Totally surprised myself. Okay, could you move these two guys into that lovely blue town, please? Okay, so that's one, two. Thank and then, again, when entering the town, you have to stop automatically, and you cannot battle that turn. Uh, and then um, these guys are going to attack that guy. Okay. And not me. You're not going to do the other two? It's only three. Oh, uh, okay. Units. Okay, I thought it was all. Alright, so Jen's going to roll three battle dice. Try to destroy this guy. You get her first victory point. And she got one. 
At the end? Why you gotta lay him down? Like he's, you know. He's tired. <laughs> he's uh-huh. trying to give him a little nappy pill. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, I. I'm gonna play this recon and force, which lets me move one unit, or, or command one unit in each section. So I don't the card you want to play. Okay, so. First, I'm gonna order these guys. These guys and these guys. I'm gonna move. Okay, one, two. Together now, guys. These other two units aren't gonna move. This unit's gonna attack this unit, so being that they're in a town, it's negative two. I got one hit. One of Jen's guys goes away. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna attack these tanks. So it is three, two dice. And nothing, which kind of sucks. Okay, I draw back up, and it is Jen's turn. Why are they trying to surround them now, even though he's dead? Uh, oh, he says. I know what you're doing. It's guarding you, you Nazi. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn, and I think you're gonna kick yourself. But, sorry, I'm going to issue a probe to two units in the center section. So, could you move those guys into that other town, please? Okay. And then go one, two, to that, uh, that town. Okay. And I win. Surprise, I'm a f***ing idiot. I forgot about that second win condition for the, for the uh, allies. Okay, I promise you I have played this game, both Jen and I. <laughs> um, here's the deal with this video. This video that you're watching now is actually a like a practice game. All right, me and Jen filmed because uh, it's been a while since we played this one, and I do want to get this one out. Um, but we had planned to film it again, do the whole thing. You know, this happens in in games when you're when you're video and run throughs like this. So unexpected things happen. They cut the video short, stuff like that. We we had planned to to refilm this, but we're going through some family issues with with one of our family members and. Scheduling is just a real problem for us to get to the table lately. And here it is. You know, I do apologize. This is probably going to be the briefest Memoir 44 game I've ever seen on the YouTube. Uh, you know, I apologize for that. It's just it's time restrictions. Okay, and I had no other video to put up this week. Um, I do have bits and pieces of other videos, but none of them are completed as well as this one is. This is like the one that's co- closest to the finish. So without further ado, let's uh let's finish the game out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So that was a quick game. I wasn't expecting that. See, you should move your tank in there. Yeah, and block I, I forgot about that two town victory condition. Oh. Um. So. Get gaming and have fun. Thanks for watching. No, okay. So instead of having to uh, get five victory medals. Jen only had to move into these two town and two of town hexes of Servan, um, which I forgot about, and she did. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a uh, it's a quick game of Memoir Forty Four. America. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our final thoughts. <laughs> Good game. Man. Have fun. This is an awesome game, baby. Look, he's all like, please, let's shoot me. Mm. <laughs> Take your tootsie roll, put it on your butt. You suck. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>